been a minute. Yes. Uh, a lot going on around here. More than uh, more than normal, and that's that's a lot. So, you know, we're we're gonna make videos as, as we can. You know, uh, it sucks, but one of the big big projects that we've been working on is now a TV show, and so we can't really show a whole lot. We're still filming everything, and you guys will. She just doesn't have the ability to not look at Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, the project that we're working on right now is something that uh, all of our YouTube followers have, have really shown a big interest in. Yes. <laughs> and we love it too. And now it has become a build that we're doing on a TV show. So, there's not a whole lot that we can show, which sucks, because we want... Oh, oh, oh. God, trying to catch us riding dirty. Uh, so we really want to show it, but you know, we just can't. Yeah, so. like we're we're filming everything, and when we're able to show it, we will. Um, while we've been doing this, it hasn't left us much time to do anything else. You and I have been kind of running opposite directions, trying to get everything for this project, everything for the next project, everything for the OG, everything for the MPK car, like. We just haven't been in the same spot much at all in the last yeah. month and a half, two months. So. Well, and plus when you build a, a, a car from frame up the way that we're trying to do right now, it takes all of our time, you know, either ordering stuff, putting it on, taking it here, taking it, you know, taking it to powder coat, doing all the stuff that we're doing. It is not a whole lot of uh, time for anything else. And we're going to change that though. Uh, I feel like no matter what, because we've been working pretty much seven days. Today's Sunday, uh, and we finally are getting in something that we've wanted to do for a long time. Uh, we just haven't had time to do it. But uh, we're going to start making at least one day a week uh, of no build show, and we'll start doing the stuff that we always do. Uh, we also have a, a new trailer to pull. Uh, we finally found us a, a 36 foot lift gate trailer and so we'll show you guys that we'll show you the stuff that we've been doing to try to prepare for mpk this year um mpk is like mpk is coming dude, it's like less than a month away isn't it's it like right yeah. no big deal or anything yeah we're fine everything's fine is it 28 days away i don't know but it's close it's something like that don't tell me that let me see it's, uh, less, it's less than 30 i'm pretty positive oh to the first one yeah so we've literally got three weeks before we got to be ready and we've got a test in that well and you've got that that's why i said three weeks another deal because we have some, that summit deal to go to right yeah. so today's the damn yeah so i, I, I don't want to think about that everything's kind of closing in on us we're like it's literally taking all the effort that all of us have to make everything happen that's got to happen in a certain time frame that we have to make it happen. So uh, it's not that we don't want to create YouTube videos. I absolutely love YouTube videos. Like like I said in my last video of Shop Truck, like the YouTube channel is probably my biggest contribution to 187 Customs. Like I love it. It's not that I don't want to do it. It's not that any of us don't want to do it. There hasn't been time to do it. So. You know, but like, like like Sean said, we're about to make time. Yes, we, we do. We like it a lot. Well, and everything that we normally do on the show, it's gotten more for me now. Right. Uh, I have to do more interviews. I have to sit down and I have to talk more. I have to do more OTFs. I have to do a lot more stuff, and, and it's and it's more time consuming on top of everything else that we're doing. So, uh, oh, now all I'm thinking about is. How yeah. little of time we have for MPK. Yeah, I know. Hey, come on over, buddy. It's kind of windy. Yeah. Uh, it's a shitty day. It's windy out. And he's old as uh, shit. It's 33 degrees, and it is uh, it's so nice. It's supposed to be uh, sleeting a little bit today. So we'll kind of do a, a little bit of more touch up on what we've been doing and what we've got to do, and then I'll explain to you guys what we're doing today. Um, we... We've got to outfit the trailer. We have to put new wheels and tires on the trailer. We have to, uh, there's no generator in the trailer. 
Yeah, yeah I mean, so the, the truck is still at the Toter truck place. is still at the toter place because we are adding a second generator to the truck to the coach yep. <clears throat> to the Pete. And uh, our reasoning for that is we don't know how long we're going to keep this trailer that we got. Trailers are really really hard to find right now, and so we bought the trailer that we found. It's a little bit older than what I wanted, but it's going to do the job. It's pretty nice though. For it it is place. nice. It yep. is nice. It's an 03 though. Yeah. And uh, it's got a lot of miles on it. Is it 03? Uh, it's got a lot of miles on it. It's it's kind of looks like it's had you know some rough times oh, yeah. behind it. So uh, we're gonna clean it up the best that we can, and hopefully everything goes well with it this season. And uh, you know that Pete's gonna drag it, whether it has wheels or not. Yeah. So that Pete's got some power. Um, that thing's cool. It does, but man, it, it is all out at 85. Yeah. It will so, not go faster than 85. And I get it, that's fine. I don't need to go, I know, I don't need to go faster than that, but at least with the other toter, I could uh, I could get a run at the hills yeah. and it'd get me up the other side. I can't really get any run with this one because yeah. at 85, that's it. It doesn't matter if you're falling off a cliff, you're not gonna fall down that cliff any faster than 85. So, can't really hit 95 and then slow back down to 80 going up the next hill. It's fine though, but I can set the cruise at 80 and pretty much not come off the cruise. That's cool. So it uh, it definitely has nuts. It just look at this whole trailer leaning from the wind blowing. Yeah, it uh, it been a lot of times since I've driven a big like an actual big truck. Like I, I used to drive them all the time back when I was younger it's working still. with my buddy. And uh, I jumped in that thing and took it to the car wash the other day. And man, that thing it's got some balls to it. Yeah, it, it, it's definitely a cool rig. Uh, we still got to show you guys. Uh, we have to take it back out of, to Jake out of Fat Fabs. It is bagged, but the AccuAir is not hooked up yet. So after it leaves <clears throat> the toter place, it's got to go back out to Jake's to get all the AccuAir and all that stuff put on it. Uh, and yes, we're going to take it out to Jake's to do that. I could probably do it, but you know, we don't have time right. at all. And plus, I can't do it the way that Jake does it. I mean, there, you know, uh, no sense really going into much of that. There's people that specialize in things, and that's what they deserve. And we're gonna for. we're gonna let them yeah. specialize in what they do, yeah. and then we're gonna do what we do. Yeah. So, uh, um, what else do we got going on every, besides me buying projects all the time that I don't oh, have yeah, time for? I, I kind of touched on that in the video that you were headed to get one project. I was there. You were headed to get one project, and then and stop shining. And, yeah. yeah. Which that will probably come out before this one, but yeah. I don't I don't know how you're gonna yeah. do it. But uh, look how cool this old school bus is. Um, so anyways, <clears throat> wow that thing is cool. Man. They've got farm truck in Asia really. It way. does. I thought that was them. Yeah. So uh, So as you guys seen in that last video there where Sean got the Bronco and then I went and picked up the razor that he found before he found the Bronco, it was it was a day yesterday of, of getting projects. So big razor ride coming up for the show that we're filming right now. That'll be pretty cool. Yeah, it should. Um, because I haven't really trail road much. I never trail road in a razor. No, I have I, wheelers. We we're we're more a little Sahara type people. Yeah. So whether it be any whatever you know, yeah. but whatever we're old now, so yeah. we got to move to the side by sides. You know. But uh, we can talk about that on that video. Uh, Man, look, we're going. We're going back to my hometown. We are going to Sare, Oklahoma, uh, the big city, the, me the, the metropolis, big, the, the big metropolitan area of Sare, Oklahoma. That's right. So, uh, I still have a whole lot of family that lives there. Uh, one of my closest uh, people from down there, Brian. Uh, we grew up together. We did everything together in high school. Yeah. You know. Uh, even we both went to college there for, for what, like one semester in Zaire together. And basically, you know, I basically pretty much lived with them. Well, his dad, <clears throat> who died several years back, uh, they always had old hot rods. And pretty much it is the Hartman curse. Uh, their last name is Hartman, Hartman, which is my mom's maiden name. She's a Hartman. 
Sarah is full of Hartmans. Oh, really? They, yeah, oh, yeah. No, they're everywhere. Uh, there's a lot of them. And uh, there is a Hartman curse. And the Hartman curse is they all had old hot rods because Jonathan's dad, Brian's dad, they all was big into hot rods. And they, back in the day, they had oil filled money. Uh -huh. So they didn't care about these cars, really. Not back then. Yeah. I'm trying to do this without pissing my whole family off, you know? Uh, <clears throat> which... Tiptoe around this deal. Yeah, tiptoe around this deal. They had uh, oil filled money. And so it made it to where when they were done with the car, they parked it. They didn't get rid of it. Yeah. They would uh, beer crash it or something would happen and they'd yeah. just park it. And then they all sat there until they rusted away. They would never sell anything. Uh, my dad actually bought a 55 Chevy from George one time years and years yeah. and years and years ago. And it is the same car that my mom threw my dad out of. Oh, really? Yes. That's one of my favorite same stories ever. Same car. Um, <laughs> that's a story for later. <laughs> I don't want my mom to see this. I think we yeah. already talked about it. She got mad at you last time. We Did she? Okay, it. we're not going to talk about it. So, uh, but with that being said, they very, very rarely ever sell, sell anything. Uh, they would rather see it rot than go to somebody else. So, with that being said, uh, George died several years back. And Brian, my cousin, <clears throat> ended up moving off. Uh, went to college at Stillwater at OSU. Boo! -hoo. Yeah. Uh, it's almost as bad as Texas. It, 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 you know, no, it's still Oklahoma. It's not OU, but yeah. anyways, he's a big, he's a big Cowboys fan. <laughs> um, met the love of life. So, anyways, yes, met his wife there. They ended up settling down in Oklahoma City. Long story short, he still owns. Uh, a couple of cars that are out there sitting in a, a, a big warehouse. Obviously, this big warehouse is uh, is falling in. It used to be Main Street. It wasn't it a is. warehouse. It was like a store on Main Street. Right? Yeah, it's, it's a store that was on Main Street in Sayre. Sayre's falling apart. Yes. Okay. I remember when they bought this building, uh, I was probably in high school. Whenever I was a kid, I used to go over to... to to George and George Brian's house, my cousin's house, uh -huh. and this car would sit in the drive, in, not in the driveway, because he had a '66 Mustang convertible 350 GT car that oh, sat in wow. the Mustang, that sat in the driveway. Well, Brian has that car now up here in Oklahoma City. It's still in really good shape. Uh, several years back, we pulled the motor out of it. We sent it off because it's all, all numbers matching deal, and put a new top on it. You know, stuff like that. And Brian drives this car around now. So that is basically the car that Brian wants that his dad left him. We also has a 70 Mach 1 drag pack car. And uh, this car is the, it's, it's not the Super Cobra Jet, but you know, I, I wish it had the 429 in it. It doesn't. And it's a 351 Cleveland car. Uh, it's orange with a black hood, shaker hood, all that stuff on it. Uh, killer car, killer car. Uh, it's one of them things that whenever I was younger, we used to sit in it, you know, in the driveway. Yeah, and make the run. Noises and, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. uh, Four-speed car, yeah. you know. Uh, 410 Posse, you know. And, and, and as far as I know, yeah, it's a fucking muscle. As far as I know, it, it's it's all original. Yeah. I don't know anything. I don't know a whole lot about it because back then, I just knew it was a cool old car yeah. that didn't run. Yeah. I've never, never in my life seen this car drive. Oh, wow. That I can remember, anyways. Yeah. I probably can remember. I mean, he probably drove it to softball games or something at one point, you know. Uh, but uh, later on, George was the guy where if something stopped running, it parked, and it sat in his dry in his not even in the driveway, man. He had a, a one car carport driveway, so all his other stuff sat in, in yards. Yeah. And the yard. And George is also the reason that I've always loved and always wanted a 78, 79 Bronco, which we just bought yesterday. Yeah. He had one sitting in his driveway at about the time I was 15. And I seriously, at one point, <laughs> thought that that car was gonna be my first car ever. And I tried and tried to buy it from him. He wouldn't sell it to me. Oh. He probably wouldn't sell it to me because I didn't have the money, yeah. you know, yeah. but, but still. I, I really wanted that thing and it just never happened. 
you know, and I still wish I knew where it was. It's not like it was in the best shape. Uh, he he put he laid it on its side one time. Oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. You know, so it wasn't the nicest thing ever. Yeah. I do remember riding in it though when I was a kid, and it had the the rear the outside mirror, and while you're driving down the road, it would rattle and the mirror would spin. <laughs> like this, the, the whole mirror would spin. And I don't know why that's the one thing that I remember about riding yeah. in that deal. And uh, so anyways, back to the Mach 1. Yeah. At some point they decided to, they bought this downtown building in Sayre and decided to pack this thing full of cars. And honestly, this was, <clears throat> this was probably uh, John's idea. John was, uh, he was really the car guy knew everything about them, knew how to work on them. George, he didn't really care. He yeah. just drove them until they didn't run anymore and then he parked them. John could nut and bolt restore any car. Uh, he was a big Ford guy and maybe that's why I became a Chevy guy because my whole life I'd listened to him oh, about how oh, Fords yeah. were amazing and Fords are the best thing ever, yeah. you know? And, and John, even though he was uh, like a second or third cousin to me, man, he was like my uncle. Uh, him and him and George both. Yeah. Uh, many a nights I used to come home to Brian's house and Brian would go to bed and I'd sit in there in the living room and watch TV with George. Uh, drink beer with him, you know, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. Uh, so, they decided to buy this building downtown and store all these cars in it. Well, I remember whenever I was, <clears throat> had to have been sophomore in high school, that's probably when all these cars went down to this building. Yeah. They didn't drive down there, they got pulled down there, roped, yeah. you know, chained, yeah, whatever. Strapped them down. Strapped them down there. Yeah. And uh and I do remember they had another brother named Bill and he had some cars down there too. He had a car that dad actually painted for him one time that looked identical to the General Lee. Oh wow. It's a 70 uh charger and uh and at one point, that thing was nice. Yeah. Never did anything with it after Dad painted it. Wow. It sat outside his house. Uh, so, uh, I'm trying to think of all the stuff that was in there, man. There's there's a '64 and a half uh, red Mustang convertible sitting in that. Uh, John probably had 50 motors because he was that guy that, that collected rare old engines and yeah. stuff. So he had all kinds of Ford Fomoco parts and everything in this building. And we very rarely ever went down there. I don't know if anybody's been down there in years. I imagine Jonathan has, but from what I understood, some of the, the kids went down there at some point and took some cars out. I don't know what all's left down there. It's been... When did I graduate? When did I graduate? 96. How many, how many years ago was that? Six years ago? Ninety-six. Okay, like, so those those cars have been in there for twenty-eight years. Wow. You know, uh, I don't know what all's left. What was left in there when we went? I vaguely remember it was uh, three or four visit, cars left. Oh, alumni. Alumni, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Sarah has an alumni. I haven't been back in years. Uh, I honestly haven't been back to Sarah in, in a long time. You know? But uh, to come down here to look, the thing that's important is the Mach 1. Yeah. <clears throat> I lose focus a lot, guys. The Mach 1 <laughs> is the car. It's always been the car. Yeah. And it's been something that I used to talk with George about. One of these days, man, I want that car. One of these days, I want that car. Well, you know. It might be one of these days now. Uh, so, Jonathan, who still lives in Elk City, called Brian and said, hey man, I'm afraid the roof's gonna fall in on this car. And, and I'm, I'm thinking that he called him because he's wanting to fix this car up. Brian and Jonathan are first cousins. Their dads were brothers. So, uh, I'm, a, I'm a second, third type cousin now. Yeah. And, uh, but I love them both. They're both family. I grew up with them, you know what I mean? Uh, I think Jonathan's wanting to fix this deal up. 
Jonathan doesn't have the means to fix it up like this car deserves, you know? But that's none of my business. I don't care. Yeah. It doesn't matter to me. I'm coming down here to help Brian get this thing out of storage and get it somewhere where maybe the roof is not gonna fall in on it. I haven't seen it in years. I don't know what kind of shape it's in. I did hear that last time Jonathan went in there, I think he said that the shaker hood was gone. Oh. So obviously somebody has been in there picking stuff, yeah. which, man, pisses me off. If I was Brian, I'd be real mad. Yeah. Um, man, to have something that you think is in storage that is, is, is has the potential that this car has, and then somebody picks parts off of it, that, that would, that would, I'd be upset about that. Yeah. Um, I am going to get the car out of storage, take it to Brian's house, let it sit there until he figures out what he wants to do with it. If he wants to sell it to Jonathan, cool. You know, as long as they can figure something out. Yeah. I just want the best for the car. And if that's me buying it and having dad restore it, hell yeah, I'm in. Because I'll buy that car today. Yeah. Something I've always wanted, something that I, I feel like it deserves. I think it would be really cool to restore that car and let dad drive it. Oh, well, for sure. Um, and with that being said, we don't know what kind of shape it's in. Uh, I would imagine if the roof has fallen in on that place, it's probably every time it rains, shit in probably, there's getting wet. Gets I don't damage. know if if the, the water damage is above where that car's at, or yeah. it could be above where another car's at. I don't know. Yeah. So we're going down here to see what this car's like, what kind of shape it's in, and we're gonna pull it out. And I am gonna eventually run the numbers and get everything off of this car and figure out once and for all if it is a true drag pack car, if it is true numbers matching car, and then I'm gonna figure out about what it's worth in the condition that it is. And then I'll tell Brian that, and he can do what he wants with it. Yeah. He can uh, sell it to Jonathan. Uh, if it's not numbers matching, if it's not a true dra dra uh, drag pack car, which I heard my whole life it was, yeah. then it's probably not worth a whole lot. But sentimental, it's probably oh, worth more. Yeah, sure. At that point, it'll be worth more than what the car is. If it's a true drag pack, and it's a true, uh, you know, I mean, it's, I know it's a true 70 mile one. But if it's numbers matching and all that, then the car's worth being restored. Yeah. So we're gonna get down here. We're gonna see. I think it's cool. Brian is behind me with his son. Uh, I brought Aiden. Jonathan has twin sons. Uh, and we're, we're all gonna be down there. I think it's gonna be cool for us to go into this building, check this car out, and see what else is there. Uh, I know at one point there was a 70-something model Harley Davidson dirt bike, which I heard those are really rare. Yeah. Uh, it was pretty cool. I don't even know which kids it was. Uh, with the Hartmans, everything is joint owned, kinda. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I know that the 64 and a half Mustang is Rosanna and Vivian's, and they're the sisters. I know that that's both of their cars. Uh, the sad truth about that deal is, is those cars just aren't worth much. Yeah. Uh, if anything, that car might be worth getting running and driving it the way that it is, the way that it sits. It's, honestly, it's probably not worth restoring. has her first car ever and it sits in her garage and it's a Mustang and it is really nice but it's a 66 Mustang coupe yeah it's 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 just not worth that much you know it's worth a lot to her because it's the first car her dad ever bought her yeah uh, which she did tell me this morning that she tried to drive it because it was nice the other day and it wouldn't run so at some point I think we might should come down here and get that thing running for her It'd be really nice to put a fuel injected carburetor on that deal. Oh yeah. That, that way she wouldn't have to worry, she wouldn't have to pump it, she wouldn't have to do nothing. What's the Holly? Yeah, the, uh, the, the, the Yeah, no, it's a it's a Terminator system like the one we got for that blazer. Yeah. It's got the old carburetor looking thing on it that's actually the fuel injector. Yeah. Anyways, that's something yeah, yeah. different that at some point I'd like to come down here and get that deal running for. Yeah. Um so basically, that's what we're gonna do, man. We're gonna meet up with some of my cousins that I haven't seen in a long time. Or it might be the whole family down here. Yeah. I don't know. Family. 
I don't family. Are we gonna go by the baseball field where your number and name is still up? <laughs> Like, oh, we got wait. Oh. No. Did you bring a bat so we can no. you know, take some fucking So that I can relive old yeah. glory yeah. days yeah. on the relive field? The glory yeah. Days. Yeah. 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 We're going to put together a recruiting tour. video. Tour. Hey, you never know, man. Yeah. I, I can still have it. I can still have it. Aiden's going to see this field and he's going to go, whoa, I could piss over that fence. Yeah. And he probably. <laughs> He probably could. Man, I watched. Uh, have you ever seen Mr. Baseball? I watched Thompson? it last night. I did too. I watched it I last night. I can piss over that fence. Yeah, we'll do. <laughs> he goes. Yeah. He could look down and he goes, "Oh, I can piss over yeah. that fence." And he goes, "Yeah, well, don't do it." <laughs> Man, I love that. And he said, "Don't spit on the field either." Yeah, it's yep. sacred. Well, at least I got that right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. No. Yeah. No. It was on last night or the night before. Yeah, I watched it last night and I probably did. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. What's that mean? They want to portray me as as this big family guy, which you know we are. I, I get that, yeah. but everything is family, <laughs> you know. So the, the TV show, and, it, and it, I just laugh every time. So me and the producer have this thing where he'll text me out of the blue every once in a while because everything that I talk about in my interviews and stuff is about family, you know, and it just makes me laugh. So he'll text me or I'll see a deal that says family and it's knitted in somebody's house. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. When we went to, to Texas, it said family on the wall. So yeah. I took a picture of it and I sent it to him. So me and the producer have this thing where we make bets and I win them all the that's time. That's right. That's right. Mike, I know you watch our videos, so yeah. Anyway, so we're gonna go down here. Uh, I'm gonna get to see some family that I haven't saw in a long time. Uh, Jonathan's kids, it's been a long time since I've seen them. I'm not even gonna say their names. <laughs> One of them's Jackson. I think it's J-A-X-O-N. No, I think I remember it because he spelt it J-A-X-O-N. Oh yeah, oh. like Jax on uh, Sons of Anarchy? Uh, maybe, Jax. Yes. Two little blonde-headed twins, just like Jonathan did when he was a kid. Really? Yeah, identical. Like identical. I don't know if I've ever met Jonathan. I know we, we played golf with Brian one time. I remember him. Yeah. Huh? He was pretty good, wasn't he? Brian was. Brian's Brian? Oh yeah. yeah. Brian, Brian's an athlete. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Jonathan's an athlete too. Jonathan is just different than Jonathan's. Real tall and skinny. Uh, well, no, he's not even skinny anymore. Really, he's, he got real big for a while. Uh, Jonathan was more like me. Oh, look, some drugs. Let's take them. Oh. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's Jonathan. Brian, Brian was a little different than yeah. that. Brian was a pretty good kid. Me and Jonathan were more... Yeah. <laughs> Local, we were a little more locally hated in our, in our hometown. <laughs> You, you, you guys were the kids where the parents wouldn't let their kids hang out with you? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Brian, he was a good kid, though. You know? But yeah. Brian still hung out with us. Me and Jonathan were the bad influences. Yeah. On Brian. <laughs> so. But. I can't believe you guys told you to watch out. Yes. We we're, were, were those kids. So. But, you know, we come from a small town. There's not a whole lot to do there. Oh, yeah. So. Okay. So. Yellow bird sport. Good. How are you? Good to see you. Good. Hello, buddy. What's up? How are you, man? Good. Good to see you. Yeah. God, you look just like John. <laughs> it's been a minute. It's been a while since I've seen you. Got your hair. I had to. It's getting you're getting there. Hey, baseball. Why? You baseball. <laughs> Good. We can't even have kids? it that long Good. in baseball. Yeah. That way. It's a shorter it length of much charge with the thumb rows. So. Uh, yeah, it was long. It was you have the key? I'm man. I'm praying that that shaker's in the trunk. But to the car, we already it's gone. Did we look? Yeah. <laughs> they said it's gone. Man, I got some seats. I don't know. Wow. Yeah, let's do it, man. It ain't getting no warmer. Oh. Yeah. We've been up there. Just, just running his around. Just being a, being a mom, huh? Yeah, it's exhausting. Man. <laughs> so this is grandkids of everybody. Jonathan, Brian, and uh, this is my little cousin, little, 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 little Robin. <laughs> so. I've never gotten any bigger than him. No, no, <laughs> just like I remember. <laughs> it's been a couple years since I've seen you, though. I know, that's why I was like, I gotta go down there and see him. 
Yeah. Yeah, I know. We should have brought flashlights Holy and everything. Cow. I got all this. You do? Jonathan's been sitting down here waiting. But it's a mess. Did I bring air tech? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, it's definitely not where it was. No, I didn't. Oh, I, wonder, I wondered if this was still here. This is Bill's car. Yeah, the MG, yeah. So, how come it's not gone? I mean, they took they everything move. else, though, right? Yeah, because everything's. Yeah. I guess he's yeah. trying to block it. This one just got pushed up. Yeah, yeah, no, this is definitely. Oh yeah, no, this wasn't gonna air up anyway, right? Yeah. That, yeah, that tires off off the rim. Put some hairspray. Off the what? It's all the way off the rim, man. <laughs> oh, this is it. Yeah, no, this is it. We're gonna have to figure out how to uh, get the hood to stay down. That's for sure. Yeah. Why is it not? Why is it what? Why is it all beat up? Oh man, it's definitely leaking right there, huh? This is where it's gonna go. Like, right hey, here. what are you doing? Looking. For what? Don't be looking through people's shit. It's a guitar. Oh, uh, it's probably oh. John or Jonathan's. Those are guitar players. Uh, all right. Well, let's go. I mean, yeah, this nine, hey, 92 Damn. is the last time it was driven. There's some old bush. Oh, yeah. No, I told you. I told you. What did I tell you, Drake? <laughs> That's awesome. Watch this. Hey, John, who do y'all think this, that this was? <laughs> this is 100% George's. Came out of the car. Oh yeah, from the last time he drove it. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> he probably had a 12 pack on the way down here. <laughs> me and Jonathan drove, me and Jonathan parked these cars. I remember. I mean, there you go. I remember that. I think yeah, your mom let that thing hit. Yeah, I think, I think uh, that Brenda hit something with it. Oh, she let it roll back. Into something. Man, it's leaking here too. Um, here's all that stuff we took to swap me. Remember when we went to that I swap remember me and your dad and my and, dad told and, me my car. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember that. He came back with no front teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> remember the next day how bad we laughed at him? And he was like, man, look, I just need a mounds or an almond joy. <laughs> you remember when he said that? A uh, So. We used to all go to the Chickasha swap meet. And oh, his yeah. dad, remember I, I told you about how his dad had just hundreds of motors down here. And uh, he still got all our motors? That's all. That's, one, two, that's all that's left? Four, five, so six. he had, what was that? A 94-ish, 87? Is that Thunderbird? Thunderbird? 88. Turbo coupe. 88 Turbo Coupe Thunderbird is what he had. Man, yeah. it was a really nice car, man. Like, clean, all the interior looked good, and uh, John took it out one night. We all went to the motel. Yeah. Well, John was a partier, you know, and so... That key turned the ignition. This so, uh, he comes back the next morning, that thing, the whole body's twisted, like... Man, hey, he didn't make it. Whatever he tried to do, he didn't make it. Yeah. He ended up jumping the car, and uh, it... It ruined the car because it twisted the whole body. And those are uh, unibodies. Yeah. I mean, the motor's complete, though. Yeah. All right, well, I guess first things first, right? Let's make a pathway. I mean, we can look at this thing once we drag it up on the trailer. I'm just seeing my keys. It doesn't lock anything. Does, it, does the keys work? So this turns the ignition, but this one doesn't do jack, the door lock. It doesn't do the trunk or anything? Unless it's just someone screwed this door up. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's unlocked. Yeah. So, did you look inside? Uh -huh. No. It's locked anyways. Uh, no, no, no. No, you can leave it. Let's get it outside and then we'll, uh, man, it's set in here for a long time. It's, uh, can we open this shelf for it's definitely, uh, it's rough. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But, I mean, it ain't gonna take much longer for this place no, to go. Look no. at that back there. Look at the roof. Yeah. So basically, last time I was in here, this whole deal was full. This car was way back here. It was probably hard right around in here yeah and probably would have been a little bit drier but this back here it happens to be raining on the one day that we come yeah. you know but this place 
Man, the only thing holding it up is the electrical conduit. Well, and look, somebody put this up here. Yeah. Just tightening it up. There's, two, there's a lot of chiefs around. Too, too many chiefs around yeah. there. That's fine though. Yeah. You got Aaron back there yelling too. Hold uh, on. I'm not just gonna start dragging this deal yeah. up here. I'm really hoping that we're gonna find out if how well this thing Charged charges them. if it charges his battery. What? Yep. Good? Yep. Oh, that deal's stuck. There oh, it is. It hey, hey, let me let me know if any of the wheels are dragging and not rolling. That one's dragging. That one's dragging. Both back? Yeah. Both back. Both back's Both back's dragging. Dragging. The back's dragging. The back's dragging. Both back. So the brakes are locked up or the rear end's locked up. It's all right. This thing will drag it up. Here. Once we get the front end up, have to slide that back end over. I'm just gonna pull forward, you guys tell me when. Yep. This is center, right? We could block the whole road if we want to, yeah, right? What you want. Just tell them I said so. Yeah, well, thank you. Man. We can do whatever. Is that, is that still true? When you get that ticket. It's not. <laughs> she said no. People who don't like me. Yeah. <laughs> they remember you're a Hartman. I know. Just start going now with it. Yeah, we picked the best day ever. Good. Okay, oh. now I think that we need to move this back over here and then once we, we put the strap on it, we can just pull the front end over a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I think the window. The store's a little more messed up than I thought it was. Yeah. Yeah. Got one right here though. Yeah, but it's the other side, isn't it? Look at that. Ooh, I don't know. Yeah, oh, nice. Keys. Check it in there? No. <laughs> there's Coors in there. Who's been driving this? <laughs> oh yeah, there's the bush. Hey. Um, I mean, without being able to see too much, um, we need to look and see 
Like it looks good right here, but side there. Oh. There's some camels. That wasn't even what he smoked. Oh, there's the Marlboro Reds. Yep, yep. There's some of the floor where I got into. Man, that quarter don't feel too bad. You can see through it right there. Yeah, but see all this rust? Look at that. Look at all that rust. You know how bad that back bumper is going to be to take off? I'll bet underneath these. Yeah. I'll bet underneath these. Yeah. Back. See how wet it is right there? That's where it was dripping on the floor and then going into that. See, that's the, I mean, that's the good and the bad about this being a Mach 1 and it has all this on it, is underneath this is probably bad. Or you could look at it like, that's gonna cover all that up. Yeah. But, yes, it won't be. Um, what price tags they got on this deal? 25 bucks. 25 bucks. This is awesome. Yeah, we're all gonna unload all this crap. What? Oh yeah, from from all the, the swap meets. The swap meets. Yeah. Look, he's got everything written. There's a fair lane, 64 fair lane. Yep. Yeah. This. Huh? The sign says support the two-party system. One party a week is not enough. <laughs> yep. We think this tape cassette is. Uh, was he country or rock? Ah, uh, he wasn't country. Okay, uh, Leonard. <laughs> you want me to hold that over here? Man, dude, no, it's country. Is it? Yeah, it's Hank Williams. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> hey, what do y'all think this tape is? Oh. It's Hank Williams. You say you want country. I, well, you know, Hank's not really country. Hank is country. Benson and Hedges. You can listen to Hank, but you don't hear Hank. There's tape cassettes everywhere in there. Our viewers right now, are, or some of our viewers are going, what's a cassette? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the door jams aren't bad. And that's a that's a big deal. Yeah. If the door jams are rotted out, normally I'll pass on any car if the door jams are rotted out. The the Fords, especially like the Broncos and stuff, you start hear it real bad. I mean, you know, we all knew it would need total restoration, and it does. Still got the old inspection sticker in it. Yeah. Does it say 92? Yep, two of two. This, this door jam, watch this. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Well, now what? How are we going to get it in your, in your shop, though? Yeah. yeah. Are we going to be able to, I guess, I don't know. Man, but how cool was it when we used to do this when we were kids? Yep. Go with, you know, with everybody and bring home junk. Except this was a lot easier than you Oh yeah, no, we would have, we would have jacked it, like Jonathan said, we'd have had a jack, we'd have jacked it up, we'd have changed out every tire just to get this thing to roll. Look at that. Oh, that's the one with the slit. Yeah, you said uh, your dad's body shop was something? Yeah, this here? is it right here. So, when I was in high school, this was my dad's body shop. Uh, yeah, see that back there? I used to ramp my bike on that. Yeah. See how the concrete yeah. is busted up? Yeah. Man, it's a perfect ramp. So, you get like three feet of air off that thing. Whenever, whenever, uh, whenever I was, whenever this was dad's shop though, <coughs> this whole front right here was all windows. Yeah. So somebody's boxed it in. And at one point, uh, wind came and, and busted all the windows in on this deal and fell on my dad's 55. And he was so upset oh, that he wow. sold it. So, so Mach 1 made it home. Uh, 
I mean, now what? I mean, we traveled through a lot of rain <laughs> yeah. to get here, and it didn't even really clean it off as good as what I thought, especially the back. I really figured it would clean it off. I mean, in that. the but mirror, the front looked good. I know. So basically, we'll take this thing, power wash it uh, with our hot seat, and knock as much stuff off of this, including rust. Some of the rust. Yeah. As much off of it as we can to where we can get a good look at it and see what the car really has in, in store for it. You know, pop the hood, clean it all. You know, you're talking 30 years of dust and everything sitting on this car. Yeah. So we'll get as we'll get it as clean as we possibly can, and then we'll take it over to Brian's, let him set it inside his garage, and after that we'll start running numbers on it and we'll figure out you know about what the car's worth, and then he can figure out what he wants to do with it. Mm -hmm. uh, like I've said, doesn't matter to me. I do remember this car from when I was a kid and it doesn't have the sentimental value to me that it would probably to him or somebody else. But if I was going to buy this car from him, I would definitely have dad restore it and let dad cruise it around, you know, because it's cool. And it's been in the Hartman family for, I don't know, I don't know how long George had it, yeah. you know, but... I know how long I've known that they've had it, but it's just been sitting in that that barn, you know. Yep. So, April of '92, last time it was tagged, and it's about the last time our license plates were cool too. Yeah, yeah. Oklahoma is okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just okay, you know. Yeah. It's Man, just I forgot okay. about that. Like, it's not great. Like, it's no, right. no, yeah, no, it's okay. Yeah. You know, how's like Oklahoma, it's okay. <laughs> how's Oklahoma? Man, you know, it's okay. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. So. Uh, you can look down the side and it, 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 it's got a lot of dents, needs a lot of work. It's just, a, right now it's a real friendly car. A it's, of, wa it's waving at everybody. A lot, of, a lot of beer bumps. There's a lot of beer bumps on this deal. Yeah. So, and you can tell back in 92, the last time he drove this deal, you know, he didn't, have, he wasn't worried about getting a DUI because <laughs> there is beer cans everywhere <laughs> in it and Marlboro Reds and, yep. you know, he was the dude that, uh, he, he smoked Cambridge a lot. Yeah. And he was the dude where he'd save all the points and everything, man. Even the dartboard in his living room was Cambridge. Nice. So, anyways, it's a, it's definitely a cool car. And in my opinion, it definitely needs to be restored. But it's not mine. For sure. So, for sure. I like it. I remember, I always remember, I, for some reason, man, it was hugger orange in my, in my yeah, mind. Yeah, it, it's know? it's pretty red. It, it's pretty red. There's no doubt about it. It's, it's amazing the stuff that you remember, and then you get there and you go, huh? Yeah. But I definitely remember it had those seats in it. Yeah, no, no. Where's the orange one? Yeah, I know. And they were like, no, he had an orange one. But I definitely remember those seats. Those old seat covers. Yeah. You know. No fuzzy wuzzy. Yeah. It's a, it's a little bit ripped up here, you know, but. It's, at least it's all original, yep. you know. Man, cars were cool back then. Yeah, they were. Ah, it's starting to get cold. Oh, so cold out here. So, I, I guess that'll probably do it for this video. Uh, again, guys, sorry for the delay in yes, videos here. we like, apologize. It's not by design. We're not trying to make y'all wait for something huge we just flat out have not been able to turn out any content so yeah. we had the chance today we got to go pick this thing out of the out of the old falling down shop and uh, we hope you guys enjoyed the video so you know as always thanks for watching uh, if you haven't already go ahead and click that subscribe button uh share it with you know share the channel with your buddies and we're go gonna ahead. come up with more stuff for sure we're gonna figure out a way we're going to make time for the YouTube thing because, you know, we just like doing it. So um, go ahead, like this video or dislike it if you need to. Comment, tell us what you like, what you don't like, what you want to see more of. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video.